Welcome to www.knowwhatforyou.com Today's presentation is about the TM192 Extreme Low Frequency Magnetic Field Meter. The 10 miles TM192 is a triaxial extreme low frequency magnetic field meter. It can measure extreme low frequency fields between 30 Hz and 2000 Hz. In the package you will find the meter, a soft case, a user manual and a 9V battery. The meter can measure up to 2300 milligauss, but I am not sure that it is accurate at these levels. On the front of the meter you will find a big LCD screen and the operation buttons. A power input jack is located on the side of the device. A tripod mounting screw and a battery cover are located at the back. The battery can be easily accessed and replaced. The calibrated point of the meter is at the top of the meter. The TM192D also includes a USB connector for data extraction. Press on the on-off button and the meter is on. The measurement starts right away and the display changes about twice every second. When an ELF magnetic source is put next to the meter, it takes the meter about a second to show the new value. The hold feature allows you to freeze the LCD display. Press the hold button again to continue the measurement. Press the min max button to show the min and max value measured since power up. Press the hold button for 3 seconds to continue the measurement. Press the range button to switch between the meter's ranges. Press the GT button to switch between micro tesla and milligauss units. Press on the set button to enter the 5 step setup. Press the rec button to capture the measurement to the log file. Press the read button to view each logged measurement. Please note, in measurement of ELF magnetic field from a small source, the T192D shows different, meaning higher, measurement than other ELF magnetic field meters. I tested three meters, including the T192D meter inside a big ELF magnetic field that was created by a power line and all three meters show the same values. Therefore, I believe that the differences in the value measured in small field are created because of the size and shape of the meter. In small fields, the meter tends to show high levels, but in big fields, the T192 shows the right values. So I think this meter would be good for finding extreme low frequency magnetic sources and for background level measurement in large fields. If you need to measure extreme low frequency magnetic fields from small sources, this meter may not be your best selection. For additional info, please visit our website www.knowwhatforyou.com, our YouTube channel, our English blog, our Hebrew blog, Please join us on Facebook and Twitter. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.